Hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm the stylist for Kathy Cassidy TV. And I'm Eleanor and I'm the makeup artist. Together we'll be taking you behind the scenes on the CCTV film shoot. And we'll be showing you how to get the look for your favourite chocolate box girl. This is Bethany and she's playing part of Cherry. And the look we're going for today is going to be quite a little bit different, a little bit kooky. She's got uh, quite an individual style to, to her look. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give her sort of a shimmery eye and quite a natural lip, just a hint of a hint of red to the lips. And then for the hair after, we're going to do the pigtails, but I'll go into that more later. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with, again, Clinique Moisture Surge Foundation, just tinted moisturiser, and just blend this one in. She's got great skin, so it's not need for a lot anyway. Head up a little bit for me. Blending in with a foundation brush. Okay, okay, so once you've finished the foundation, I'm just going to set it with some powder just to get rid of any shine on her skin. Just blot on a little bit and then brush off. And that's the base. Now we're going to go straight into the eyes and use the cream eyeshadow, which is Laura Mercier. Just need to put a little bit on your hand, like so. And you can use your finger or you can use brushes, either blend in or pat it on. I'm going to start with this one and just use a little bit and hit up a little bit for me, please. That's it. And just pat on from the centre of the eye and then blend out. creates quite a nice shimmery base to the eye and just blend out to the brow a little bit. And open for me. So you can see you can still see it near the brow so it gives a nice shimmer. What I'm also going to do to enhance the eyebrow is use a slightly lighter colour just under the brow. Cream shade. Very subtle but just brings out the eyes a little bit more. And then lastly for the eyes, I'm going to use a dark brown just on the outside and blend in. Still keeping it quite shimmery. Come close me. Just pat close to the lip lash line, just halfway across. And again, blend into the centre of the eye. Okay, and when we're finished, uh, we'll just put some mascara on the eyes again. This time I'm going to start on the bottom lashes so that we don't smudge them on the top of the eye. So if you look up for me, it's always a good tip for at home if you start on the bottom and then you don't smudge as easily. And that's the eyes finished. And for Cherry, we're going to give her a little bit of a red lip stain. So we're going to use this one here, which is Benetint by Benefit. And it's really easy. It comes with a little brush. And you can just dab it onto the cheeks or on your hand and use your fingers. Dab onto my hand. You can see it does come out quite liquidy. And just smile for me. Just use your finger. Build up gently, because you don't want too much. Gives a nice sort of fresh cheek. You can build it up. And this is great because you can use it on your eyes, on your cheeks, on your lips, anywhere really. It's really great. You can mix it and use powders with it. It's a really versatile product. And I'm going to use a brush for the lips instead of my finger just so that it spreads a bit easily.
can see it stains quite nicely and it does last quite well without having to worry about it being sticky as a gloss or anything. Cherry lips. <laughs> and we're all together again. And there we have Cherry's final look. we're going to do Cherry's hair and um, we're going to do it like it says in the, the books that she has it in bunches so we're going to do them but a little bit more quirky so what we're going to do I'm going to keep her side parting in and just separate the hair down the back just make sure it's nice and even then for each side we're just going to brush so it's probably about the same level up to her ear and just brush it all in together just not using a normal band get them so that you can get them to the same level and then the third one just pull them sort of halfway through and then split the hair and leave that loose and then we're going to do the same on the other side leave your fringe a little bit loose as well and check in the mirror just that it's even both sides again matching up to the ear and then on your third loop pull halfway again checking that they're similar lengths and just turn around to separate the hair so that it lays evenly. And we're also going to add some little grips to the hair. Uh, we've got a little leopard print one and a nice little brown one as well. I'm just going to clip these at the back. Securing the hair in place. So it adds a nice little detail. And I'll just give the hair one quick spray. Is it ice cream? And there we go. Cherry's finished look. This is Cherry. Um, she has a very distinctive style. She's quite into fashion, but her main thing is she likes comics, cartoons. She's got quite a kitsch, cartoony sort of style. Um, you can see this in the way that she likes to mix up lots of different prints and patterns and clash them together in quite a cartoony, fun, quirky kind of way. This jacket is a kind of varsity jacket, which is actually really big this season. It's a big spring, summer 13 trend. And we've layered it on top of a little leopard print heart tee. Um, which again, we're picking up the leopard print in her little baseball boots down here. Which she just tucked the laces in. And because she loves everything to be colourful and bright and quirky, we've layered on lots and lots of bracelets and bangles. And we've got three on this wrist and a couple more there. Really bright colours, really, really fun. So it works with her overall look of just being a bit different and kind of playing with things and making them her own. And because Cherry loves playing with different prints and patterns. I'd take something like this, maybe layer a cosy cardigan on top like that. Again, all these pieces are from New Look, so they're really easy to pick up. Just do little details like roll up the cuffs, button them up, just to make it your own. Maybe put that with a cute little skirt. And again, she could wear this with either the leopard boots or these baseball boots, which are great. I love the detail on those. Something like this jump is really fun. And I put that with just over a simple vest top, just like that. Again, don't be afraid to pile on accessories. The brighter, the better. Something really colorful like this. It's got loads of energy. and really fits in with her love of comic books and cartoons. Something cute like this cozy little fur, faux fur hat. So Cherry's really into her Japanese style. So we've gone with quite cherry blossom colors here, beautiful plums, burgundies, they all fit in with her vibe. Okay, and that's how to get Cherry's look. <laughs>